this is the back gate to the allotments. I'm just going to walk through. We have to lock the gate behind us. So we're just going to lock the gate. the gate locked. Next door has brought in some paving slabs which they haven't yet done but it's a quite nice walk over a bridge to the allotment. We have chopped down a load of trees but if you have a look over the through the hedge you'll find that St Michael's Station is there. It's a nice little uh, country station. It's overgrown with creeping vines there. And down this end there's lots of um, blackberry bushes. Still got a few blackberries to come. But we've managed to pick one good crop. It seems like they have two crops. And here we've got another gate to open. I'll just open that. And we're in. says please keep the gate locked because people have been not locking it there's the gate nicely locked and the sign which says please keep the gate locked I've done it this uh, this tin because there's the pigeon men I've got some pigeons and there's my wonderful plot We've had um, quite a lot of rain the past couple of days and there's been flooding. It's getting on towards the end of September 2012. I've, I've moved the gate from the back there and I've been given these two old um, fence panels which I think I'll give to someone else. The uh, IBC container is nearly full because of the rain. There's this marvellous um, thing here which I'm very proud of. There's a valve in there which stops it when the thing, when the um, barrel gets full and it's fed from the IBC container and it works very well. There's an old, uh, there's a um, dustbin there for all the bits of rubbish. I'm trying to grow a vine which I got from uh, got from home and this is my shed. It's uh, clotted up with goodness knows what. Loads of stuff mainly wood and, and boxes and things which in the, uh, bit by bit I'll get rid of. There's a stove that I hope to use one day. A, a diary and a, a um, plastic container where I keep my mugs and um, I've just built a shelf. Outside the uh, plot is flooding I've um, started to build a... Oh, there's, there's a robin warning everyone of my intrusion into his area. <laughs> the, I've started to dig the pit to put the uh, manure and compost in. The uh, tomatoes coming along quite nicely despite the rain. Next door is flooded. 
don't see how anyone could do anything without raised beds. I'm starting to do some weeding. The uh, strawberry plants have gone wild. I've left them more or less on their own till the leaves die off and then I'll thin them out. I've put up some fence posts, these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven posts along there, ready for the chain link fencing. There's another strawberry bed. I've got three strawberry beds. So far we haven't had any strawberries. The sage is going very well indeed. Oregano is in flower, but is surviving. The uh, mint doesn't seem to like this weather too much, but as you'd expect the uh, rosemary is going mad. I was given this, uh, there's a couple of um, squashes there, I was given a squash plant. There's a dock that's <laughs> coming on very, very well. We haven't had any um, black currants. There's about seven black currant plants. Need to do some weeding. Um, look at the flooding next door. It's crazy. I've um, taken down all the raspberry plants there. And got rid of them. I need to um, dig it out again make sure all the roots have gone because it had a virus. There's a um, blackberry bush there, a raw, wild one that I've let um, grow because I hope to put some blackberry bushes along this fence and get a nice crop of blackberries. There's another one that's waiting for the um, the rhubarb has had a very sorry year. It's hardly had any rhubarb at all. It's flooding there. The um, raspberries, from the, these are Autumn Bliss. Quite a, a reasonable crop for the first year. I need to get those um, wired up. Um, The uh, coal frame hasn't done much good other than grown a big dock which I've sprayed. I, um, we have cut down a tree from the um, church and I've put the wood in there and covered that with some polythene. Still needs a, a lot of rubbish there that needs tidying up. Um, the uh, Fairy Glens, looking reasonable. All the um, oh, there's a poppy that have planted, a um, one or two other bits that have planted. A um, the uh, pond. I've taken um, half of the lilies out of it because it was absolutely full of lilies. I'll just take you around there, but that's the up so far at the end of September. Not a very productive year because the, it's never stopped raining. Got, a, got some strawberries that need, some raspberries that need picking. And that's it. We haven't had any, any um, strawberries because the few that have grown, the slugs have eaten. We're having a, a fairly good crop of the um, tomatoes as usual. It seems that the uh, way to do grow tomatoes is to have um, is to put down grow bags and have these uh, hollow rings, tomato rings there because the roots seem to like the warmth. Um, the roots roots like to be warm, and so they get 
um, the tomatoes um, ripen up a lot better. We're, we're still having tomato blight. This is full of tomato blight there. Have a look at that. That's the water table just under there. Good job we've got some raised beds. We've had a fairly a reasonable crop of gooseberries. Nothing from the red currants. The um, roses have done well. Uh, apart from that, it's been fine, really. I'll have to try and, if I get a few um, dry days, I'll try to dig that pit a bit more. But it's so full of water, you can't do anything with it till it dries up. The tomatoes here are splitting, probably because of the wet. And apart from that, I'm getting ready to put the fence in. I'll have to clear all that ready for the fence. So I've got the fence in the shed waiting to be put in. And that's it. End of September 2012. That is to, to on Dave's pickings. They've got a few tomatoes and a few raspberries. It has been a bad year because of the of the water this year.